Hey guys, Fleet Violia here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, I finally bought me some gold hoop earrings and I'm just feeling it. I got my wrap up here this today. Like I usually wear my wraps the other way, but I got it up here today. Um, a head wrap tutorial will come later on down the line. Okay, I just, you know, just space it out, space out the good videos. Um, but today is going to be like a makeup look for school or work or just something effortless, like you don't want to spend a lot of time on your face, but more specifically, school and work. Um, this is actually the makeup look I wore when I used to work um, at the bank, you feel me? I used to work at the bank for like a year and a half, and this was like my go-to makeup look. And you know, when you have to wake up at 6 a.m., even for school, when you gotta wake up at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., if you go to school early, you don't wanna, realistically, who does a full ass beat at 6 a.m.? Maybe some people do, but realistically, I never felt like doing that. Um, so yeah, let's get into this super easy and effortless makeup look that you can wear to school, you can wear to work, you feel what I'm saying, you wear to the office. Actually, when I went to college, I never wore makeup to school, so, for work. Let's just get into it. I get very oily throughout the day and you can already see my oil peeking through y'all because these lights is beaming on me. So I'm gonna take this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I really actually like this. I'm just only gonna take a little bit because a little goes a long way like spreads. I'm just gonna work this into my face y'all. I got my press on nails. Finally my nails will be looking busted and crusty. Oh my gosh this is so soft. The feeling of this primer just feels so soft. Oh, I already did my brows off camera, so do your brows the way you want to do them. Um, I just do them. Like, this is like my new brow method. And I'm actually going to do a Mastering the Finesse for brows, so stay tuned for that. I got y'all, but I'm going to like make it a little different, you feel what I'm saying. Okay, and I'm going to be using some stick foundations today. I'm going to be using two. The first one I'm going to be applying is the Maybelline Fit Me stick foundation the reason why i'm using two is because this one is way too sheer and i like a little bit of extra coverage not full coverage but you know i like that medium coverage look like this is low low key like a bb cream in a stick kind of that's how sheer it is and i'm in the shade 330 which is toffee and i'm just going to run that on my face this dead ass matches me like so well I'm so happy. And we're not going to be applying any concealer today. That's how effortless it's going to be. So if you just want to look put together, you want to look presentable, put together, this is the look that's that I'm going for. Okay, that's on our face. And then I'm going to be applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. I'm going to be applying that right on top. This one has a little bit more coverage and it's a little bit more mattifying. Because if I'm going to be wearing makeup eight hours when I'm at work, I got to have a little bit of mattification going on. And I'm going to be using the Morphe G36 brush to blend this out. I kind of like, I mean, I kind of prefer brushes to blend out stick foundations than a beauty blender. And stick foundations just become so skin-like. Like, they're just perfect. They're perfect. But if you need more coverage under your eyes, go ahead and apply that concealer, girl. We're just not applying it today. Or you can even apply concealer that's dead as your skin tone. You know, so it just looks hella effortless. And to get into these nooks and crannies, I'm gonna switch over to the Morphe G30. I'm sorry, G40. It's more precise. It's more. Oh wait, do we need to zoom in? Let me get in there so we can get around my head wrap. When I like first bought this Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation, people on Snapchat were telling me it's so good, but it didn't impress me at all. Like, it's perfect for, like, that effortless day, but, like, that's the only time I would go and grab it. Like, if I desperately just want a little bit of coverage, but that's really it. It didn't impress me. But, I bought it, so we're using it. Okay, and to get more close to my brows, I'm going to take the Luxie Beauty 227 brush to blend the foundation right where my brows is so we don't mess them up. And just get into the more you know hard to reach places I just love how this dead ass matches my skin like I can get away are we blended I can't tell you know what these lights I swear they blind me okay and to set my face I'm going to use the naked skin well the urban decay naked skin ultra definition loose finishing powder I'm in medium dark 
and I'm just gonna set my face with this. I love how skin like this powder like looks. It looks so good. Like I swear, it doesn't even look like you powdered your face at all. And I'm going to apply it with the Morphe E3 brush. Just tap it in and just tap it all over my face. I just prefer using face powders that match my skin tone as to set my whole face because I don't know, translucent powders can make you look ashy. And I don't got the time to be trying to de-ash myself in the morning, okay? I'm just gonna work this all over my face. And I just like to press it in. Yes. Just that effortless canvas. Okay, and now I'm just going to bronze my face. I'm gonna take this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in light to medium. I'm just gonna go in with the contour shade. And I'm taking a fluffy brush. Like, I don't want, like, a contour. I just want the light bronze. So I'm taking the Morphe B MB1. It's just very fluffy. I'm just gonna work it into this shade. And then just warm up my cheeks. Yes, I just love that effortless warmth of the face. Honestly, doing looks this simple is just so weird for me. It is because I never really do looks this simple. I either wear, like sometimes I wear natural makeup in like the videos where I'm just talking. Um, but on a regular, really on a regular day, my realistic makeup is no makeup, honestly. Like, I don't be wearing nothing. Or I'll just do my brows, like that's it. I'm just so simple when it comes to no makeup makeup. So I have to force myself to channel like a very effortless look because I'm extra okay like there's nothing wrong with being extra like I swear people always come for me for not being realistic with my makeup looks and it's like that's not even what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to create I'm trying to do creative looks because that's what I like to do I like I don't care if it's not realistic it's realistic to me like because I would wear it you know what I'm saying and other people like my dramatic looks like, I feel like everything is relative. What's realistic to me may not be realistic to you. What you think is natural makeup may not be natural makeup to me, or vice versa. You feel what I'm saying? Just let me live. I'm not bothering nobody doing what I do. Sorry, quick rant. I'm just going to, like, kind of warm up my nose with the Morphe E27, the same contour powder. You know, we just want a little bit of definition. We don't want to fall completely flat going to warm up the nose define it a little bit and this is quick plus you're using a fluffy brush it's going to blend at the same time you're applying it just take a little bit right here and a little bit right in my cubits bow y'all know how i love that cubits bow maybe i should bronze up my forehead a little bit let's just bronze up since it's showing let's just dust a little bronzer right there okay for highlight I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, which is like my new favorite. Like, I don't even want to use nothing else no more. And I'm going to apply it with the Moda Highlighting Glow Brush. To my cheekbones, Cupid's bow nose, you know what I usually be doing. This highlight is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yes, glow, come through. Oh my gosh, girl. Oh, I love it. Let's go right above the eyebrow. You don't want to go too crazy with the glow. Like, we at work. We at school. Oh my gosh, this glow is so freaking beautiful. I can't. Yes, sorry. I just had to add some more, you know. <laughs> mm. I like how this brush just blends at the same time. And then I'm going to go in with like a inner corner highlight brush. This is the Sigma E30. And I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose. Just want to keep it in that precise place yes just keep it precise use your fingers yes and let's go into our inner corner and also our brow bone since we're not really wearing shadow i don't want to wear shadow i don't even have the time to be putting on shadow at 6 a.m plus i'll be like gonna sleep until like the last minute when i had to go to work i slept until like the last minute i had to be to work at like 8 30 I wake up at like 7.45. Whoa, I hate waking up early. Still to this day, I'm not a morning person. I try to be, but no. And then let's bring it up to our brow bone. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's apply some blush. This was my favorite blush for so long. It's the MAC, what's this called? Peach Twist Blush. It's like the perfect 
blush shade like I love this shade so much and I haven't used it in so long but when I used to work it was my go-to like it damn near hit pan y'all so this is my favorite I'm just gonna use the MAC 120 brush and apply this to my cheeks the only reason why I stopped going to it is because it has shimmer in it and it just kind of was too much but you know let's just glow today and I actually am gonna bring it up into my highlight you know just so it's cohesive I just wish they made this but matte like that would be perfect if you guys have a dupe for the Mac peach twist like if you've ever heard of this or you have it can you find me a dupe that's matte like you would be the homie let's just apply a little bit across the nose because I kind of love how that looks just a little bit of blush across the nose Ugh, perfect okay um um I don't really know which mascara I want to use today but whatever so I have like what is this five in front of me i have the pop beauty mascara the l'oreal telescopic carbon black mascara the milk makeup ubami mascara the maybelline mega plush mascara and the l'oreal lash paradise mascara so i'm gonna apply a few of these because my lashes you know they're they're not that bomb alone and then i'm just gonna have a business card hold it up right here because i ain't got the time to be getting mascara on my lids and then taking it off you know, so I just put a business card or just any card you have. Put it up there and put, apply your mascara. I swear it like gets every lash though. That's why I like this method. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit of a difference. Girl, no, I done got it on my lid. You know what, forget the business card method. It's, it's getting on my nerves. Just apply you some mascara. You know what, I'm tired of mascara. Okay, and I'm just gonna set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray before we apply our lip. Yes. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> okay, our lip is super simple. I'm just gonna line my lips with ColourPop's Creature Lip Liner. I just wanna add a little bit of definition before I add the gloss. Okay, and for our lip gloss, I'm going to use this Vasanti, I think it's called, Power Oils Lip Gloss. It's like my favorite mauve nude. Like, this is like my go-to mauve nude, and it's a lip gloss. Perfect. I think it came in an Ipsy Glam bag. Yes. Yes, I like glosses that are pigmented because putting a gloss over a top of like a lipstick or a matte lipstick, you start to like, it starts to flake on me, like, like right, right in there, sorry. <laughs> but it starts to flake on me, so I like pigmented lip glosses. So if I want like a nice, rich, opaque color, but I want it to be a gloss, I like lip glosses that are pigmented. Yes. Okay, you guys, this completes my makeup for work and or school. I hope you guys like it. It's very simple, very... I know this is like so weird to say, but it's out of my comfort zone. Now, like I used to do this all the time when I went to work, but now it just feels so awkward doing something like this simple. I feel like something's missing, you know what I'm saying? Like some lash or some extra. Anyways, I'm about to go get my toes did. I'm about to go get a pedicure with my mans, okay? About to go get crunk, about to go get tipsy, you feel me? I need a drink, y'all. I need a drink. It's been a stressful ass week. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you are new, welcome. What's up? My name is Aaliyah. Welcome to the homie gang. If you made it this far, I mean, you might as well become part of the homie gang. You might as well become a homegirl, you feel me? So you can subscribe down below. You can tap that bell, you feel me, to be... Freaking, what do you call it? Notified? I mean, why wouldn't you want to be notified? I mean, like, I'm popping. My channel's popping. My homie gang is popping. So if you want to become part of the homie gang, feel free to subscribe, tap that bell, you feel me? And I will see you in my next video.